Come on, come on. He's trying. Come on, Jay. Now, we have a surprise guest here. I believe it's Doc Grun wants to get up on stage and tell a few jokes. So, Doc oh. Grun, give it up for Doc Grun, everyone. Hi, Good guys. evening, everybody. Good to see you. Finally, we get him back. All right. I'm, I'm sorry. I was trying to log in earlier on Thinker's first computer. And <laughs> it broke when the rod came off and all the balls fell off the side of the abacus. So, uh, <laughs> Stone I, I, knives I and bear skin. Um, <clears throat> well, I told everybody sooner or later I'd be back. Mm. Wow. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm here tonight. I just flew in from Arabia, and boy, is my carpet tired. Can you mm. tell me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm here tonight for one reason. To wish Thinker a happy 29th birthday. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, that's not night. right. It, that's not right. It's a 29th millennium. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, who's counting? Who's counting? You know, I'll tell you one place it is. The Social Security Administration. <laughs> Damn, this guy's still around? Are you sure? <laughs> ah, shit. Go ahead. Send the damn check. <laughs> the social security number is two. <laughs> I mean, Alexander Graham Bell is one. You must be calling one. <clears throat> I'm he I'm here in one of my ancient costumes from my from my book. Um, it's well, it's it's really not mine. I got it out of Think's closet right next to the zoot suit and the Roman toga. <laughs> now, let's be clear. I don't mean animal house toga. I mean Roman toga. Okay? <laughs> yeah. Seriously, happy birthday, Think. It's, it's, it's my great pleasure to know you. As a special surprise, we have satellite imagery of the lighting of your birthday candles. <laughs> Like NASA, NASA originally thought it was a volcanic eruption until we told them. <laughs> but just as a precaution, flights in your area have been diverted until you blow out the candles. <laughs> but, you know, you think about it. You think about it. God, it's simply amazing all the things you've seen and the lives of the people you've touched. Personally, yes. I really want to, I really have to ask you this thing. How was the Industrial Revolution? <laughs> 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 and while we're talking about history, okay, I just got done watching this here, and actually I'm, I'm glued to it. I'm watching it in the car on my phone on the way home. We're going through our third presidential impeachment in the history of our country, okay? It's a really big deal, okay? Now, of course, we had Clinton. I did not have sex with that woman. And we have <laughs> Richard Nixon. I am not a crook. But the first one was Andrew Johnson back in 1868. Think, you were there. Tell us about it, please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I got this really old, old picture of the impeachment hearings of President Johnson. And you can see this old guy sitting up in the rafters of the courthouse. <laughs> Just watching everything going on. <laughs> now, With an I it's love an old picture, so you can't see it clearly, but he's wearing this shirt that says, I love steam power on the front of it. <laughs> <laughs> Big fan. <laughs> That's our thing. You know, always ahead of his time, you know, and he was very smart in watching his money. Okay. There's a rumor he has the first dollar he ever made. Well, it's really not a dollar. It's this copper wafer-like thing with cuneiform writing on it. <laughs> a picture of King Atnaton of Egypt. But, hey, you know what? Money's money, right? Money is money. Oh, God. Well, my book talks about alien intervention in human evolution. I may write a spin-off series about all the evolutionary advancements Think helped bring into the world, like um, fire. <laughs> the wheel. <laughs> Flush type toilets, okay? <laughs> call forwarding and mobile call messages. You know, all the important stuff. <laughs> He's been through it all. Did you know? Did you know? He had business class seating on Noah's Ark. <laughs> <laughs> think about everything that he's seen, okay? Now think about this. One of the most important inventions of our time, the invention of cell phones, meant you were in touch anywhere in the world 24-7. Immediately after that came the invention of cell phone voicemail, which basically tells a caller, yes, you've reached him anywhere in the world, but you aren't fucking important enough for them to talk to you at this exact moment. <laughs> <laughs> voicemail's been around much longer than everyone thinks. Thinker used it back in the day. 
smoke signals, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Selby's not here at the moment. At the puff, leave your name and tent number, and we'll smoke you back. <laughs> <laughs> but it was more problematic back then. You know, Think was ordering lunch one day from the local Mastodon takeout service, but the wind was blowing northeast, and instead he invited the local Cro Magnons over for a kegger party. Talk about low brow entertainment. <laughs> now, everybody's heard of WikiLeaks, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. Think had Tiki Leaks, as in Tiki Huts. Right? <laughs> once, once he found 31,000 missing dodo bird feet that the top contender for the tribal leadership got rid of to prevent his opponent from finding him. As such, the tribe elected Don Don Rumphead, pronounced, the tribal leader, who immediately slapped a four smooth river water stone per slab on meat tariff, and right away the price of dodo bird meat tanked. Proof that history repeats itself, right? Oh. Now, in Egypt, they just opened up a new crypt in one of the, uh, the pyramids, and they found 25 well-preserved mummies. And the writings on the wall look like the paint is still wet. And there's this picture of this guy sitting on top of the pyramid with his shirt that says, I love hemp. No <laughs> <laughs> it must be aliens, speakers. okay? <laughs> oh, that reminds me, I think. Uh, they found your keys inside there. Here they are. You can have them back. <laughs> <laughs> After all, who would want to spend the you know years of their life in a virtual world that literally doesn't exist when you turn off your computer? Oh wait, that'd be me. Um, <laughs> sorry. <about that. laughs> so 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 the uh, the book is going well. We started a podcast series on Spotify called The Awakening Chronicles. I read a chapter per podcast. And negotiations are ongoing for a movie media deal, so hopefully, before I have to come back for Think's 180th birthday celebration, I can afford some new Avatar outfits. (laughs) (laughs) Now, I'll leave you tonight with a little bit of education. Part of the thing I had to do for my book, I literally created an entirely new language for the aliens, both written and spoken. It spawned a whole batch of new words for Webster's. Here's a couple for you, just two, okay? Mm -hmm. The first word is ever since you. The second is just because you. Mm. Now, these are big words with very profound meaning, so I'm going to use both in a sentence for you. The first one. Ever since you've replaced my headlight, my tires keep going flat. <laughs> okay. <laughs> very profound. The second is more of a pronoun than a noun. Example. Why is it that every time I pull up to a stoplight, it turns red? Just because you fucking can, that's why. Just because you fucking can. <laughs> uh. While we're on the subject... Why is it that every single time a light turns red, what's sitting at the front of the line but a goddamn 18-wheeler, right? Mm -hmm. (laughs) This happened to you? And then the light turns green, and the guy pulls out. In the meantime, you shifted 14 times and gone seven and a half feet, right? (laughs) (laughs) By the time he gets the damn thing through the light, the fucker turns red and you're stuck. That really pisses me off. (laughs) Think, Think there are very few things that could bring me back to comedy. You're one of them. Yeah. Showed me the other, but that's another conversation. (laughs) So, Selby, my dear friend and mentor for it, can you believe it? 12 years. Now, we're not talking dog years or Linden years. We're talking 12 years. Happy 438th birthday. (laughs) (laughs) Thank you. And thank you for coming, Doc. That'll do it for your.